Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meecher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Trails into Reverie. In the last episode, we saw a major tournament of Master Swordsmen, duking it out to see who was the best, and <laughs> it was a long one, but I absolutely loved it. Oh my god, it was really amazing, really well done. But we're going to be continuing right where we left off. Um, I want to show you something that I have done um, off screen. My party is a little bit different. I do have Alyssa now instead of Muse. Uh, Alyssa's um, orb and slots have allowed me to make her pretty strong uh, because of some setups. But um, much hasn't changed in the equipment slots uh evergreen um feet is a little bit more magic dodging as well so that's pretty good uh, we do have Alyssa with uh still blue and queen queen machette basically what muse had we still have um emma but Alyssa does nuke a lot more uh, we do have this for reen bridget and kusanagi I might change this later on. I'm not sure. If you guys have ideas of builds, please let me know in the description. I got Domination, Speedbreaker, Odin, Prominence Nova, Carnelia, Kyokutsu, Truzaku. Just some really, really hard hitting uh, quartz here. We do have B, which is just most of the usual. Uh, we do have this for speed. We want her to go quick. Want her to move before any enemy so she can go in front and hopefully just make them all focus. We do have Aegis as the main one. We have Absolute Reflect just in case we do not dodge. Also 24% more dodging and catching their attention. Serious, we, ju we just want the uh, stronger counterattacks when dodging. Because uh, we do need that. We do need that. Sirius, I think, is a better than Gungnir. Not Gungnir, than, uh, what was it? Subaru. Uh, simply because, uh, is it? Let's see. Speed, strength. I think it has more strength. Eh, has less strength. Interesting has more speed oh huh Subaru is better in all intents and purposes more speed too right yeah so so 29 strength defense doesn't matter but yeah huh 28 the difference is very negligible but I do have her just to heal as well. Uh, now, this is where it goes. We got Mercurius. Mercurius as the main one. Simply because I want the offensive art to deal damage. There's a 50% chance. Hopefully, the more it, go it grows, the better it becomes on that. EP recovery. We do have the uh, increased damage exploiting weaknesses. We do have Sophia just because... We do have a lot of good space arts here, like Shining, Fortuna, Cross Crusade, a Seraphic Ring, which is one of the best, like, revives in the game. So, if not the best. Then we got, most of these are for stats, but also to get the best um, arts for each element. Uh, Zeus for the best wind one. Lost Genesis for obviously ATS, but the best of the uh, time. Uh, this just to, you know, get some more stats. 
and also to heal. If there is a chance that everybody dies, we got Sophia, revives us, do Grail, Grail of Thelas, and just, boom, revive everyone. We got Albion Wolf here. We got just Deuce Gem, just to get that EP cost down. Uh, this is for ATS purposes. We just want to keep hitting hard. And this for Zerial Cannon and EP gradually recovers while walking on field is actually pretty good. We got Erda and Vega here for Emma. Uh, typical Astro Bell, Hades Gem, Pyra Bell, Pyra Bell, Cast, EP, and Fenrir Gem. Um, I still am working on a few because grinding on the Reverie gave me a lot of stuff that I could buy. So that's what I've been doing. Rendering browsing interface. But we are gonna be continuing. Um, I think we do we do have these two unlocked. Project Orbor Gear 4 Part 2. And the more things change. But I kind of want to continue the more things change. I mean, I want to do the more things change and continue Project Orbital Gear for Part 2 in the next episode. We also unlocked another trial, so we're going to be tackling that in another episode as well. So, the more things change. Let's take a look and see this, which I am going to love. I feel I'm going to love this so much. Ah. Okay, who are we going to be following? Well, he made it. I imagine this is going to be Lecter. Yes, it is. Oh, aren't you? Always got something wild going on, don't you? Hey now, got permission this time. <sighs> I'm late as hell though. They're not mad. Early March, 1207 Septian Calendar, Carol Imperial Village. Oh. It's a little class reunion. Lucy Silent. Or Salent, sorry. Salent. Claudia von Ostlis. Hey. Oh. Sorry for the wait, ladies. Wait is putting it mildly. Lucy was just saying you might have stood us up. Come on, can't a guy get a little love for how hard he worked to make time for this? I got attacked by foreign spies on the way here and everything. The odds of that happening with our current international climate are zero. You'll need to put some work into your tall tales. And if you're ever as so much as one minute late when meeting us again. Oh, y you wish you weren't. They need to get together. They need to date already. <laughs> Damn it. I've been wanting them to be together since I saw them in Sky. I'm like, come on. Now sit down. <laughs> You're so funny, Lucy. Can't get a little leeway with our first time meeting outside of work in three years. How you doing, Siege? Been a good guard? you are oh this is lovely a perfect guard in fact he's been vigilant since I came to Erebonia for the wedding and today's my last day here so I really am glad we could find we could all find the time to get together I wish it could have been earlier but I've been swamped with work ever since the war's end it did allow me to come back for business in the Romaferian Embassy, at least, so it worked out in the end. We're mainly checking up on the Romaferians to return to the Empire after the war, yeah? That plus a few other thingamajigs and some follow-ups with the Salem Company. That is all correct and all confidential. 
Dare I ask how you came to know my itinerary? <laughs> Dare you don't. But I can't slip out a few secrets I'm privy to. When I, from what I hear, the extra mirror and finer details of the reparations were paying out to the other countries have been finalized. We're paying out to the other countries. It's not much of a... It's not much more than a modified version of the second proposal. You should get the official notice next month. Well, all right. I can take my long overdue snack for the next time. Thanks, Lecter. I'll let my grandmother know. Speaking of updates, Chillin' Hounds both asked me to deliver a message messages to you both. To Lecter, they, Jill mostly, said, Clock's ticking. Hurry up and apologize. To Lucy, they, Hans mostly, said, Let's all hang out soon. We miss you. What? You still remember sweet, innocent me? And police. Tell them I'm too busy kissing government ass to kiss theirs too. I think a Janus get-together would be fun personally. The timing might work since I heard Leo's back in Liberal. I also said something about coming here for a conference. Here? I've been keeping an eye on him since he made it to the top school in Le Mans. You better not be trying to ambush me. <laughs> Talking like this is bringing back a whole flood of memories. Same for me. It's like we're back, right back at in the student council room. I'm so glad you came back to us. Oh, I'm gonna cry! Hmm? So am I. I would have been happy enough that you came through to the other side of the war safe and sound. But it also seemed to lift that shadow that's been weighing you down. Now, you can finally smile from the heart again. <laughs> Things some would be quick to point out that I don't deserve to with how I, oh, I don't know, help start the damn thing. Well, we won't be among them. To us, you're a dear friend from our academy days. If you're one of them, though, then better late than never to do all the good you can so you can put the rest of us at ease. Listen to you. I screwed up big thinking Janice was a good spot to go undercover. Much fun as I had there at the time. Hmm? Hmm? Oh. Oops. Looks like it's me. Arundel speaking. Again? Ah. <sighs> Got it. I'll be right there. What's wrong? Sorry. Something's cropped up. I'll be back as soon as I can, but you two can just keep going without me. See ya. He never changes. And here I thought I was swamped. I heard there's been no shortage of fires to put out in the intelligence division since the Chancellor's passing. But... Yeah. I don't like that fake smile he put on. Follow him. The more things change. Oh. They really like Lucy and him need to get together. Come on. Like this is come on. That same morning. Oh. Are they going to stalk him? Is that fit? No, that's not Ferris. That's just a random NPC. Okay. And then somebody walking behind the sign. Early March 1207, Septian Calendar, Meeting Room. Imperial Diet is going to be more of a problem than Military HQ. All of a sudden, they're happy to flaunt their authority again like they're... The inspector makes about the last thing we need. Now that the military's been downside, intelligence is what's going to keep the Empire safe. How can they not get that? Well, we've bought ourselves half a year to finish this so-called restructuring. We need to make something of it, even if it's just for show. You might be permitted to speak. 
Hits. Oh no, that's not him. Major Hubert. Hubert? A detailed proposal on how a restructured intelligence division could look has already been submitted. The division, as it stands, was based on the old army. Change has been long overdue. There's no better time to bring it up to our standards now than now, I say. Hmm. I already rejected that proposal of yours. Your idea may sound pretty on paper, but the flexibility you're looking for is no more than a childish idealism. Our division has more important things to focus on. Stop being a dreamer and like... And think like the officer you're supposed to be. I think we've wasted enough time discussing the topic or structuring for one day. Oh. I don't know. I don't even know who's talking. As long as the Empire needs us, we need to not worry about the division's future. The rest will work itself out. I think that's a stupid way of thinking. Our concern is more than the general state of affairs, both at home and abroad, has crumbled since the war. Brace yourselves. And by our, I do not include you. It must be nice to idle away the time while the rest of us are, are up to our necks and work. Might as well not even have a seat at this damn table. I do hope you're at least aware of who is responsible for the perilous situation we found ourselves in. I'd like the chance to restore my name as much as anyone else, sir. How much I ordered everyone around in the past. However, I think it's for the best if I keep my head down for a while. Heh. <laughs> From teacher's pet, pet to class clown. Oh, how he fallen. It's hard to take him responsibility for screwing everything else up. Hmm. Don't worry. There's have plenty of time to suck up to your new superiors. Oh. You sure... You sure you're not going to be handed the pink slip by the time I got to suck up to you? Watch your mouth. Just get out of here. Suppose don't get anything done with you in the way. As you wish, sir. Damn boy causes nothing but trouble whether he's here or isn't. Have you anything else to add, Hubert? The man is the most intelligent person in the room, and you kick- You are all idiots! This is the intelligence division?! More than the dummy division. I do. Prince Oliver's honeymoon is still due to proceed as scheduled. I hope he's okay. Can't believe this is the damn intelligence division. Getting a nice soda, huh? There you are. Meeting's over. Hey, Hubert. Another hot day at the office, huh? Sorry you're having to deal with all the crap I used to on top of your own now. I wouldn't have, wouldn't have to if you didn't try stirring up trouble whenever you're in the... Whatever. I know I'm wasting my breath here. I'm going to get the foreign intelligence budget passed at least. It's just a stopgap until the new ID is established. But we could use every mirror we can with the way the CID sniffing around. That's yeah, off to you, Mr. Chief of Foreign in Intel. Just where would we be without a promising youngster like you? Your wisecracks are why they kick you out, you know? I mean, you don't care if they treat you like trash and resist with every pull, of, of course. But still... Keep doing what you have to do here to get things done. I'm trying, but you aren't making it easy. I swear, I'm gonna be old and gray by the time we pass a proper restructuring plan. They keep acting like they were today, for sure. 15 years isn't a long time for the ID to be established, but it's plenty of time for them to get set in their ways. Yeah, any longer the cracks in the foundation will start to crumble till there's nothing left. I think it's about time we went out with the old and in with the new, if you catch my drift. Can you say that kind of thing out loud while we're in the building? Well, we both know I'm better at, at talking up the higher ups than you are, so if you plan on starting something, let me in on it. We've been together since we were in junior agents. I can make this work. Can't beat someone having your back. Counting on you, Hubert. 
Oh. Hello, sir. Damn. Lecter. Sir. Get across below and assess the situation before the signing ceremony. I mean, you can do something this simple, I hope. With respect, why? I thought we had an entire unit deployed for that very task. I want to see your... You set foot back in the office for at least a week. That's a stupid... Um... I've been trying to hide... That he's giving me pointless work to keep me out of his hair. Didn't want... Didn't you want to keep your head down? There's nothing gay by causing a scene right now. Just what he says and no slacking off because it's pointless either. You hear? Yes, I hear. You're getting on my case, too. Man. And then everything went to shit. We didn't even finish the meeting with them. Oh, jeez. I wanted to see more of them. Ah. <sighs> Man, that's so unfair. Why are you getting all the bling? Because of being the easiest iron blood to target, I guess. Is it really up for sticking around the intelligence division? Yep, I think it's fun. Besides, I think it'd be smarter to stay. And on the inside will help. Will let me help bring uses and all our other friends too, right? Yeah. Good call. Just trying to delete classified information left and right. Look who's talking! <laughs> Fair. So that just leaves just you? Just you now, huh? You disbanded your unit in the morning of the war, right? I mentioned being real confused why everybody had their assignments chained out of nowhere. Lecter, you didn't? I don't know how things were gonna end. Just figure that however the great twilight panned out, it was good for my guys to have options, that's all. Okay. Can't see everything. I sure as hell didn't see you coming back. I kicked all Tina out while I could. She started to find her own way in life, and I don't want our mess to keep getting in the way of that. Let her keep access to our secure line if it helps you feel better. You did? <laughs> Thanks! The next stop is Trista. Trista. When disembarking, please ensure no belongings are left behind. That's my stop! Surprise you can't just call him if all you need to do is reach out the doors. Eh, I've been out of service for a while. Gotta make it formal, you know? Haven't seen any of the instructors in ages, so wanna say hi. Nothing wrong with that. Well, this is going anyway. You think you could deliver this for me? Vector handed Milliam a single letter. Just give it to one of the instructors and ask him to read out loud. Anyone will work. Uh, okay, I guess. See you, Lecter, and take it easy. Lemon Squeezy. sure have changed but I think it's all for the best ah oh, poor Lecter this is enough to see that history won't be kind to Kelly of Osborne With blood and iron he expanded his empire's reach through enough schemes and invasions to drag the continent to the depths of war I go down as one of the most evil men who has ever lived if lives weren't lost in his wake, they were derailed beyond repair. Some might say that my life was one of them. Not that I care much. I had a clear goal he wanted to achieve, and the will to see it through. That meant something to me. I never verbalized what that goal was, mind. And I'm sure Claire and Rufus weren't aware either. But since the moment we met that faithful spring 15 years ago, could sense the true nature behind his ambitions. 
Imagine he could see how familiar, how similar it was to him. We had a gift for seeing the bigger picture and the path to reach the end to our means. But all we wanted to, all I wanted to do was give up and fade away. It was set on using every tool at his disposal for the sake of his goal. Seeing the way he worked may have been even bigger shock than my dad's letter. I was captivated by how he could do what I couldn't. Maybe history, and maybe history will see him as immortal, immoral, but I won't. He wasn't. He was a man who loved his country and its people. He wanted to save them, even if it meant taking on the role of a villain. No doubt he deemed his ruthlessness a must to realize his vision. But I also think there was more to it than that. Throwing his whole being into a singular gold was all he could do to keep his fragile sense of self from collapsing. To move forward, never thinking of when the last string holding his psyche together would snap. But it was whatever it took, if it took everything he had to give to make his dr one dream come light, then that was a price worth paying. That was how he chose to live. So when I chose to become an Iron Blood, I made a promise to myself. I swore that if he ever strayed from his path or reached his breaking point, I would stop him by taking his life. That became my goal. It gave me a reason to remain in this world even when I'd been unable to stop my dad. Of course, the one who settled things for the old man ended up being Schwarzer, his real son. Mm. There's no shortage of fires that need putting out right now. One wrong move, and the continent is liable to fall apart. Atoning for putting it in the position it's in through rebuilding the Empire is a good, honest goal. It's something worth doing. But at the same time... It's still too early for you to lose hope. Go with me and discover what your purpose in this world may be. I think I've lost my purpose in life all over again, old man. <sighs> Lecter. The next stop is Keldick. Keldick. When disembarking, please ensure no belongings are left behind. Hmm. You fell asleep. Ah. Uh, must have dozed off. Stop letting my guard down so much lately. So, you coming for me or not? Ours are way better if you do it before we reach the next station, you know? Oh, shit! Okay. I didn't count on there being so many... This many pros. Of course we're pro. We're the Division's elites. Who is this? I'll be damned. Oh, no! What?! I'm getting backstabbed! Oh, fuck, man. Do you have a good nap, Lecter? This was your unit, huh? This would be a dumb question, but I'd feel weird if I didn't ask. What are you trying to do here, Hubert? I don't like this any more than you do, trust me. But I need you dead, and this was the most surefire way to get it done. Got an... Out of so many situations that would have killed a man ten times over in the past, even live combat. Intuition is something else to have helped you survive this long. So I repaired something even you won't be able to snake your way out of. Don't tell me. What? Oh! I sure dealt you a hell of a bad hand, huh? Might have won big when you earned the Chancellor's favor, but you're hanging on to your job by the skin of your teeth. I 
the church to watch a peer rise and fall the way you did. But he makes it out alive because he's alive right now. How? That's a good question. But don't worry. I'll make good use of you if no one else will. <laughs> All those years spent together and this is what it comes to, huh? It sure does sound like this came from the boss, so... Well, there once my hand gift wraps with a pretty bow. Could it be the CID? You son of a bitch! Or intelligence is your bag, so I'm no expert, but I don't need to see how they've been shaking things up. Calvert's new president heading it now, huh? No. Can't blame you. Kissing a crumbling agency goodbye when the renovations the other sides are already got done are so pretty. Major. If we don't, I know. Oh, I hate people who are too smart for their own good. It's the last time you get to put that brain of yours to use. So I'll let you have it. No! Why are people so idi- such idiots? Goodbye, Lecter. Have fun in Gehenna. Oh, boy. Possible. How could none of them? No. She was just pretending to get off at Trista. I could kiss you, White Rabbit. You got the timing down pat. I don't want your kisses. Oh my God. That letter wasn't even for the Academy. You can't just hand in your notice like that out of the blue. She read it? Of course, such a million thing. Damn it, Lecter! Have yourself a seat, Hubert. Keep the gun out if you want. Just want to have a little chat. Heh, <laughs> not falling for that. Admit, the odds aren't in our favor right now. I'm not going to get off this train until they are. <sighs> Where in what I said did you hear I'd be setting you up for failure? If you want a housewarming gift for your new home, that's not the only option you got. You can always tell them about the new intelligence division set up in secret three months ago. See? Spare a little career advice for an old friend. Wait, what? Three months ago? These guys are real pros. So much for this plan. Yeah. I'm not as stupid as to not realize when I've been beat. What do you plan to do with me? Why would I want to do anything? B what? You don't mind me doing a favor. You don't mind doing me a favor, of course. You can help me out big time if you... Stuck to your plan and go to the CID. You're kidding me. You want me to be a triple agent? It's the CID we're talking about. There's no way they won't sniff me out. Yeah, well, I'm not sure they'll think much better of you as a double agent. You're right that they're not going to fall for a half-assed betrayal. They both know what they're going to say if they catch wind of what happened here. Was gotten out there by cutting a deal with Aaron Arendelle. So, who's lawn looks greener now? I'll let you make the call. Wait! How long have you known? Since the star, Hubert. Maybe since we were juniors that I try to follow my footsteps and aim for the top. As much as I knew, you'd never get there leading to your betrayal. But I had to let it play out. That's what had to be done so I could make my moves without the higher-ups breathing down my neck. 
exactly the same as he was. You're no different from that piece of shit Chancellor! Oh, I know. Think you can take over Rhines? Oh, it's Rhines, of course it is. I think you can handle it. Or I think I can handle it. Sorry. Don't want to get you down too much. All in a difficult position here, so why not scratch each other's back? As for me, I'll do just about anything to ensure my home and liberal never suffers another day of tragedy again. Calvert is way on track to becoming the next dominant force in Zamoria. Can't afford to not keep an eye, a good eye on it. So let's work as a team and make the goal of the new intelligence division he formed come true. This brings stability to Western Zamoria. Lecter, you madman. Is he a double agent too? So yeah, I'll win his plan. Oh my god, what a twist! Guys tried tied to the CID are now under control. Good work. This turned out to be quite the operation. Is it gonna be any other way? Now we can use Talk of the new CID to get internal and external affairs in order. I'll leave deciding how that goes to you. Just don't forget to keep me apprised of the remaining time and the, the old division had the left. <laughs> sure thing, boss. You're the best. Sure you won't consider sticking around your old post? I'd rather die. I don't know if handling of headaches like you. The only thing that would keep me on is you leaving. Aww. You know you love me. Don't exactly shed a tear if I leave, though. Huh. So what's next on the list? Heading straight to Crossbill? Can't say there isn't stuff bothering me over there, too. But I promise head back to the villa this afternoon. It's looking like I'll be a little late again, but at least the airship will cut down the time. Catch you later, Chief. And I know you're busy, but... Try to take a breather here and there. You're no spring chicken. Wow. For 10 years, and he hasn't changed a bit. <sighs> I did not see that coming. Such a true lector fashion. In the present. Oh. All right. All right. Don't let the car with that license plate get away. Something tells me there's people in the Garnier district in the harbor, too. They're looking to people who started working at the ladder in the opera house around early September. Their things never cease to amaze. Almost fell for our CID friends who thought they could play hardball against you. Almost feel, sorry. Their own fault. They're the ones who came to the bat. Anyway, you could send them home for me, Klein? Not a problem. Whew. That's the busy work out of the way. Looks like division's restructuring is going to work out okay. I can say I'm not concerned about the old man sympathizers in the army. But I wonder if I should be more concerned with how I'm doing nothing but work, work, work. You can ditch the girls to come here. <sighs> You're the same as he was. You're no different than that piece of shit, Chancellor! Come with me and discover what your purpose in this world may be. There's so much I need to do, but I just can't bring myself to do any of it. I think, I think part of it's because I've lost my reason for living, but that's not everything. Even if they aren't on the best terms with them, Claire and Rufus still have families. You have family too. Family is not just blood related. You got friends. Dear friends that care about you. Milliam and Altina have people they can turn to now too. Everyone's got someone who loves them that they can go back to. But me? 
Getting close was never really my thing. Every chance I had, I chose to walk away. All that's left of me are the sins I have to atone for. If nothing else, I can at least make it so work's not left a complete mess. Damn it. There I go, thinking about work again. When did I become that kind of guy? Oh. Huh? Was that Sieg? There you are. I've been looking everywhere. Busted, huh? <laughs> Finding you slacking off on a rooftop brings back memories. <laughs> I'll never forget how much legwork I put in trying to find you at Genus. <laughs> oh, I bet you won't. I know I won't understand everything that's burdening you right now. I'm sure there are things that, even if you told me, I wouldn't be able to imagine with my upbringing. But I know you're the same person you are now as you were the day we met. When I felt lost and was struggling with my own internal conflicts, you were the one who reached out to me. I've never stopped being thankful for it, Lecter. You remember all that? I feel bad, but I barely remember anything that happened in school. Maybe you've forgotten, but we haven't. Aww. You were the weirdest student council president ever. A guy who wouldn't know common sense if it hit him in the face. There was no end to your shenanigans. But you also saved us more than we can count. More than we realized at the time. You're really important to us, Lecter. And you always will be. So... Please don't suffer in silence. We want you to be your true self in front of us, even if you can't with anyone else. I've got people too. Guess I just wasn't thinking straight. I love this. That means the world to me, Chloe. Lucy. I feel like as long as I've got you, I'll never have to worry about losing my way. What? Uh, are you alright? You're not delirious from fever or anything, are you? Nope. That hurts, you know. <sighs> well, whatever. I'd better get going. I've been hanging up here too long as it is. You good on time, Chloe? You've got a flight soon, right? I do. But it isn't due to take off for a half hour or so. This isn't an official visit, so Julia is coming to escort me back. Oh. She might be waiting at the landing port as we speak. Jill, Hans, and Leo are in Liberal right now, isn't that right? They should be. Oh! Oh dear, I suppose that means work will have to wait. Hmm? If we pass up this opportunity now, who knows when we'll get a next time. What? Uh, why are you both talking like that? You're, You're coming, coming with, with us! Oh! Uh, wait, w what? You're not dragging me all the way to Liberal, are you? They are. Of course we are. We can finally have that reunion we've been itching for after all this time. You'll never have a day off if we don't kidnap you. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Wait, we can still talk about this! Nope. Nope. Spare me! Please! Oh my god. I love this. So think he and Chloe, uh, not Chloe, uh, Lucy should date. The more things change, end. Oh, that was amazing. 7,000 mirrors of reward. True sacred mirror. Okay. I imagine no outfits. I'm just getting notes, right? Whenever this loading ends, it's just the awkward silence that I have to be when I'm like, oh, the loading. Here we go. All the character notes. Let's see what that uh mirror is. A true sacred mirror. EP. Okay. Eh, displays unanalyzed information. Enemies in chess show up on map. Okay. Well, that's fine. 
Uh, it's EP and ATS. But I think I got better things dealing here. And it's not better than that. It's not better than this, obviously. Let's see. It's not better than this, right? No, absolutely not. It's 20 less ATS. Uh, that's fine. But I'm going to be leaving this episode here in the next one. We're going to be tackling the last daydream for now. But leaving things off here. Hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. If you have, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me in my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care, guys. Bye-bye.